at Caulfield? Uh, it was a uh, it was it was it was cool. It was fun, you know. Uh, it's always a joy to play in front of the 12th man and uh, just go out there and have fun with the players to my left and my right. And I mean, it, it, it's just always fun to be able to touch the end zone anywhere. But in Kyle Field, my last time, my last catch in Kyle Field to be a touchdown. And I mean, that's just something that I've always dreamed of. And the road that I took, you know, a lot of people would never take and probably would never be where I'm at. And uh, for all the people who doubted me, I'm, you know, I'm happy I can finally prove them wrong. And in my shoes, you know, that's everything to me. So yeah, it, was, it, it was a really special moment. We'll go to Christy over here on the right. Um, can you talk to us about that touchdown pass you caught with one hand? And are you left-handed? No, I'm, I'm right-handed. Uh, what you, you talking about? The, one, uh, the second one? Um, I mean, he had my arm, my right arm pinned. And I've been working on a catch since I've missed it in Mississippi State. And that's I've been working on it tirelessly. I, I mean, I stay after practice forever just working on catches like that. And, uh, I mean, I just focused in and watched it all the way in and, you know, made the play that I could. And my right, like I said, my right arm was pinned, and my only arm that's free is my left one, so I'm going to use it, you know. So that's what I did. Follow up? So in practice, you practice catching balls with just your left hand? <laughs> no. Uh, I practice catching the over-shoulder catches. I try to catch everything with two hands. I, I don't like the one-hand catches. Uh, I don't ever practice just one-hand catches all the time. You know, if I do one-hand catches, it's usually competition with Kurt or something like that. But... I mean, yeah, I'll do one of catches in practice, or but I focus on catching it with two hands. That's just the way I was made. Stay here in the, on the right. Hey, Damian, there was a, a time where you thought college football just wasn't going to be for you. I mean, a game like this, will this be the opportunity for you to reflect on that decision in, in, in addition to just uh, overall what you've done? Um. Yeah, um, when I first came out of high school, college football, I didn't think it was for me. I didn't think I could do what I was doing. And, uh, you know, I tried to do the school thing without football, and it just wasn't going to work out. And uh, a lot of my teachers in high school never thought that I could make it in college. So, you know, from day one, I was setting out to prove somebody wrong. And I made that one phone call to Coach Rocco and at Blinn, and, you know, I changed my life to where I'm at today and about to graduate in December. And I mean – just to do what I'm doing and to make sure that everybody knows that you can still prove people wrong and take the road that I did. I mean, it's it's something special. And just a quick follow, what's your, your major? Architecture. Mark over here on the left. Damien, it looks like uh, you've got a pretty good rapport going with Nick since he came back in. Can you talk about uh, the comfort level that you and the receivers have been having with him since he's returned? Um. I would say we had a good comfort level with Kellen and Nick. I mean, they both take reps in practice, so we try to keep that rhythm up with everybody. Uh, really and truly, yeah, I mean, well, me and him have connected the past couple of weeks. But other than that, I mean, as long as the ball's in the air, I got to go make a play. No matter who's throwing it, no matter how it's thrown, I just got to go up and make a play. And uh, that's what I focus on. But yeah, he's been doing good. He's a young kid. He's going to grow just like Kellen. So, I mean, they're, they're coming along just fine. We'll go to the back, Daryl in the middle, in the very back. Damien, can you talk about the momentum this gives you guys going into uh, hitting the road next week for, for Ole Miss and then wrapping things up at, at LSU, just getting that good taste in your mouth and, and getting rolling? Uh, I, guess, I, I believe it gives us a lot of momentum. Uh, having this win, we knew we needed this. We knew after coming off them two tough losses, uh, we knew we, we needed to have a good game, and we knew we needed to come in here and blow them out and show them you know, just get that momentum on our side to where we know we can uh, we can score points and stop them and make sure, you know, just basically offense because defense has been playing their tails off, just lights out. And uh, the offense need to come in here and prove to each other that we can score and we can do it fast and we, we can do what we do or what we were doing in the earlier part of the year. But, uh, yeah, it, this is a good momentum swing, and uh, I believe this is going to help us carry on through the season or these next two games. Any last questions? Anything? All right, you're done.